Hey, what's up? I want to go over uh, automation and auto effects in Ableton, particularly the auto filter. Now, automation is um, an automatic knob turning um, option or feature. Uh, it's basically uh, you draw in with the draw tool uh, the movement of a parameter and it does that. Uh, it's pretty powerful. Uh, and it's very useful uh, and it you should be using it a lot um, as opposed to the normal LFO and all that fun stuff and we'll get into that later hopefully that's more advanced but yeah so what we have here is we have uh, a loop reminiscent of a famous Canadian producer guy that uh, eats cheese now uh, we could sidechain that but what sidechaining is is it's a uh, uh, volume reduction um, with a signal coming in and uh, this has uh, you know quite a bit of uh, sound coming in so the, the sidechain could be affected by that which would suck um, and it sounds bad so what we can do is we can do artificial sidechaining via automation and that is automating the output of a compressor which is basically the volume Uppy downy reducer. So, what we'll do is we'll select that, and you can verify compressor output gain, right? Uh, you'll press B, right? And uh, you want to do it kind of like that, right? And what that does is that cuts the sound out completely. <laughs> that beginning part, but we want we want it to kind of ramp up. So we'll press B again, uh, and then double click on this little guy here. And then there you go, right? So we take that. Now we want to duplicate this. And if we press Control D, it duplicates the track, and which is not good. So we'll undo duplicate. So what the trick is is Control Alt. You select it. Control Alt D. Gotta make sure my fingers in the right place. Control D, and what that does is that duplicates the automation, right? So what that did is that duplicated the automation, but didn't um, affect the audio, and that's pretty important. Uh, and what that does is it uh, gives us an artificial kind of side chain, and we'll play that now. And uh, you can hear that. So we'll make it we'll make it a little less intense by pulling this up, selecting it again, Control D, right. Right now, that sounds cool, and you'll notice that's on uh, the 16th uh, uh, notes, which uh, he didn't invent <laughs> or have in any international copyright patents. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop in an auto filter, and we're gonna add a neat little effect. The auto filter it's filtering off the frequency of the high, and what we can do is uh, you can attach this auto filter, so you can automatically attach an LFO. And uh, an LFO is basically a very short kind of sine wave uh, or square or a triangle or saw ramp up or saw ramp down. We want a saw ramp down so it's open. So what it does is it goes, it you're, you have the filter uh, open and then it goes down and then it opens up and then it goes down in that shape. You can imagine the filter's gonna, what the filter is going to be doing. We'll do, there's a rate. At uh, you can go one cycle a second, or ten cycles a second, which is a very fast, very fast reverb. You have to set the amount up to hear it. That's really fast. Or you can do it uh, one cycle a second. But you want to sync up to the track, and without you don't even have to do calculations. You can just hit the musical note option. Bam. So it's at sixteenths, but the phase is at zero. So what this does, it takes a signal, it splits it up, and it uh, it the auto filter affects the left and right independently, but at different times. If you set the phase to zero, it doesn't. So what you want to do is you want to set that to eighths, uh, and what that does.
it, it it's basically automatic filter automation that uh, triggers at each note beginning so you get a plucky sound And that's a, a neat kind of effect you can use. Uh, it's really good uh, for a lot of things. So we'll leave that on there. We'll add a reverb just to kind of smooth it out. And uh, what we can do uh, in that track is just a filter opening up. This may or may not be a good example but we'll do it anyway. So we have the filter here. We'll press B. Select this part, auto filter and the frequency, the frequency of what's affected. We have that up. So it's slowly ramping up. And we'll give it a bit more kind of an effect that's noticeable. And you can do that with a lot of things. You can do that with the uh, ping pong delay. Wet dry. We'll have the wet up to here. You can even have that uh, for uh, a filter cut off in the EQ or uh, anything else for that matter. And what this is doing is it, it's it's more so uh, useful for making your track uh, change over time. Just instead of having stagnant loops, uh, you can think of it as an example. As um, here, I'll show you. So what you have is the one of the main thing that's that's automated. We'll pull up something here. Play it. I'll one of the, one of the main things that's automated in uh, dance music is the filter. And the filter is well, this is a bandpass filter. Uh, you can have it directly. Here, I'll move it like this. So you can automate that. You can record the automation in, which we'll do. And actually, we won't. Uh, but you just hit record and uh, every, anything that's automated in your program gets recorded into uh, Ableton. Actually, nothing's playing. Uh, you have to record that via this way. So we will draw in some weird automation. Holy crap, what's going on here? So that way, it's the, the filter of the snow. And I just failed. I'll play it. <laughs> Damn it. So you can automate basically everything. Uh, and I and the reason I did this, I, f I forgot I had no MIDI coming in, so I just assumed it, it would play a sound if I was automated. Yeah, brain fart. Uh, but yeah, then you can automate unlimited things and do some really cool stuff with it. I hope I, yeah, hope I explained that well. Uh, any questions, leave a comment and I'll answer it or I'll make an addendum video at the end of this. Yeah, that's it. Take care.